And thank God Mr. Blake Lively is not. I, oh God, I don't feel well. Oh, uh, what the <laughs> Thanos, you don't have the budget for this, Colbert! Deadpool marketing is 10 out of 10. I'm really, really busy doing some stuff and if I- Ryan Reynolds' commitment to the character. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Ryan Reynolds. 10 out of 10. Infinity War, I mean, Deadpool 2 is finally out. The first one was such a success and is one of my favorite superhero movies ever. It was what we needed at the time. A self-contained superhero movie that parodied the very universe it took place in. A contemporary work of genius. Now, is Deadpool 2 as good as the first? I'm sorry I have to ask, but the truth is Deadpool 2 is a different film. No shit. One thing I know for sure is that this movie is hilarious. It made me laugh hard. I mean, yelling laughing. Gut-wrenching. If you're a superhero fan, the jokes hit hard. If you're not, it's still funny, but I think there's a lot of jokes you'd miss. Not every joke lands. I'd say about 70% of the jokes land, which is a lot because there is a ton of comedy in Deadpool 2. I'd say even more than the first, which is great because most of it was funny, but some of the humor can seem repetitive. The first this movie was much more contained, but this is what you expect from a sequel. It's bigger, it expands the universe, and teases what can be explored in this world. It did a great job of introducing new characters that fit into this universe. Mostly. It might have benefited from having a smaller cast or having a simpler narrative. There's characters that shouldn't even be in this film at all, but are only there for a punchline. But I get it. It's Deadpool. It's his way of flipping off the industry and its cliches. But I think because of its overabundance of characters, some other better characters don't get enough screen time. Domino is an awesome character. Her introduction in the film is simple, but clearly establishes her personality and her relationship with Deadpool. Whenever we're with her and we see her use her powers, it's awesome. She's just lucky as hell, so really, she's super fucking powerful, but in a unique way we haven't really seen before. She's just lucky. And it's fucking awesome. But we don't get enough of her because there's too many folks in this movie. The X-Men effect. It feels very congested. Deadpool 2 is a very hard comedy, but it does have moments where it takes itself more seriously. There are emotional scenes that actually did make me feel something, but only for a bit because the movie moves so quickly that these moments don't really resonate. Maybe the fast paced rhythm is best for a superhero movie. You don't go see a movie where the R-rated superhero is a murdering ninja and expect to feel sad. No, you expect badass scenes where people get violently murdered, and that's what you get. Deadpool 2 is a great action movie. From the opening sequence till the end, it's violent and it's fun. Other than a few full-out CGI battles, most of the action in the film is practical. We actually see people fighting and stuff which looks much better. Something we've been seeing less and less in superhero films. With this movie, I feel like Ryan Reynolds completed his fusion with Deadpool because the character of Deadpool is taken in a direction that isn't what he is usually known for. We get a much more sympathetic Deadpool. He's less of a psychotic serial killer and more of a human being. My guess is that the studio agreed to give Ryan five more Deadpool movies as long as he made Deadpool more likable and found a way Way to make it a team up movie. So Ryan brought his rom-com charm and made Deadpool a much more sympathetic character with some moral ground. Which is good, it's definitely Deadpool just a more easily digestible by the public Deadpool. Which means we'll get a lot more Deadpool movies so I'm all for it. Josh Brolin as Cable was so awesome. His character's seriousness perfectly contrasts Deadpool's character and seeing them interact, seeing them go back and forth, it was one of the funnest parts of the movie for me. I loved Deadpool 2. It's definitely worth watching and definitely worth a full price admission. In my honest opinion, I still think the first one is better because it had a simpler story and fewer characters which allowed each character to have more screen time and serve more of a purpose. But Deadpool 2 was fucking great with awesome characters that the first one didn't have. Go out there and watch Deadpool 2. You want to have a good time. You want to laugh, get yourself some Deadpool. I give Deadpool 2 an 8 out of 10.
We're gonna get a ton of Deadpool movies as long as these keep making money, which I am totally okay with because as long as Ryan Reynolds is attached, we're gonna get quality movies coming out of this. Later!